Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice square root algebra problem. Square root of 20 over 5 plus square root of 5 whole to the power 24. So, let's start. First of all, we suppose that this expression inside the parenthesis is equal to x. Let x is equal to square root of 20 divided by 5 plus root 5. Now we simplify this expression. This is equal to this square root of 20 can be written as square root of 4 times 5 divided by 5 plus root 5. Next, this square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 5 divided by 5 plus root 5. Now, to rationalize the denominator of this expression, we multiply and divide this expression by the conjugate of this denominator 5 plus root 5. The conjugate of this expression is 5 minus root 5 divided by 5 minus root 5. Next, this uh, 2 times root 5, 2 times root 5 times this expression 5 minus root 5 divided by, by using this uh, algebraic identity a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This 5 plus root 5 times 5 minus root 5 will become 5 squared minus root 5 squared. This is equal to 2 times root 5 times this 5 will become 10 times root 5 minus this 2 times root 5 times this root 5 will become 2 times root 5 squared divided by this 5 squared is 25 minus this square will be cancelled out with this square root and here we are left with 5. Next this 10 times root 5 10 times root 5 minus this uh, square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and uh, 2 times 5 will become 10 divided by this uh, 25 minus 5 is 20. Next, from these two terms uh, we can factor out uh, 10 and in bracket left uh, root 5 minus 1 divided by 20. Now, this uh, 10 1 time and 10 2 time 20. So, we get the value of x is equal to root 5 minus 1 divided by 2. Now, finding the value of uh, this expression uh, root uh, 20 over 5 plus root 5 whole to the power 24 is same as uh, finding the value of x to the power 24. It means uh, we need to find the value of x to the power 24 and this uh, x to the power 24 can be written as uh, x cubed whole to the power 8. So, first we find the value of uh, x cubed. To find the value of x cubed, we square both sides of uh, this equation. So, x squared is equal to root 5 minus 1 divided by 2 whole squared and this is equal to by using this uh, algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This uh, root 5 minus 1 whole squared is equal to root 5 squared minus 2 times 1 times root 5.
फाइव प्लस वन स्क्वेयर डिवाइडेड बाय दिस टू स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू फोर नाउ दिस स्क्वेयर विल बी कैंसल्ड आउट विद दिस स्क्वेयर रूट एंड दिस वन प्लस दिस फाइव विल बिकम सिक्स माइनस टू टाइम्स वन टाइम्स रूट फाइव टू टाइम्स रूट फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय फोर now from these two terms we can factor out 2 2 as a common factor and in bracket left 3 minus root 5 divided by 4 now this 2 one time and 2 2 times 4 so we get the value of x squared is equal to 3 minus root 5 over 2 now x cubed is equal to x times x squared so x cubed is equal to in place of this x we write this value of x root 5 minus 1 over 2 root 5 minus 1 over 2 times in place of this x squared we write this value of x squared 3 minus root 5 over 2 3 minus root 5 over 2 next we multiply this uh, root 5 minus 1 by this uh, 3 minus root 5 this uh, root 5 times this 3 will become 3 times root 5 and root 5 times negative root 5 will become negative root 5 squared and negative 1 times 3 will become negative 3 and negative 1 times the negative root 5 will become plus root 5 divided by this 2 uh, times 2 will become 4 next this 3 uh, times root 5 plus this 1 uh, times root 5 will become 4 times root 5 and this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and negative 5 minus 3 will become negative 8 divided by 4 next from these two terms uh, we can factor out 4 4 as a common factor and in bracket left uh, root 5 minus 2 divided by 4 now this 4 will be cancelled out with this 4 and uh, we get the value of uh, x cubed is equal to root 5 minus 2 and we need to find the value of uh, x cubed whole to the power 8 so we suppose that uh, this expression root 5 minus 2 is equal to y and this uh, can be written as uh, y is equal to root 5 minus 2 and now we need to find the value of y to the power 8 so we square both sides of this equation y squared is equal to root 5 minus 2 whole squared by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared this uh, root 5 minus 2 whole squared will become 5 minus 4 times root 5 plus 4 next uh, this 5 plus this 4 will become 9 minus 4 times root 5 now This nine can be written as uh, this nine can be written as one uh, plus eight. So we write this expression as one uh, minus four times root five plus eight. Next one, and from these two terms, uh, negative four times root five plus eight, uh, we can factor out negative four. Negative four as a common factor, and in bracket left, uh, root five minus. Two. Now this uh, root five minus two 
this root 5 minus 2 is equal to y. So, here we put the value of root 5 minus 2 y from here. Then this becomes 1 minus 4 times y and at left side we have this expression y squared. Now, we square both sides again then this becomes y to the power 4 is equal to 1 minus 4 y whole squared and this is equal to 1 minus 8 times y plus 16 y squared. Now, in place of this y squared we put this value of y squared 1 minus 4 y then this will become 1 minus 8 times y plus 16 times 1 minus 4 y. Next 1 minus 8 times y plus 16 times 1 16 minus 16 times 4 y 64 y. Now, this one and this 16 will become 17. Negative 8y minus 64y will become negative 72 times y. And at left side we have this expression y to the power 4. And because we need to find the value of y to the power 8, so we square again this equation. So, this become y to the power 8 is equal to 17 minus 72 times y whole squared and this is equal to 17 squared is equal to 289 minus 2 times 17 times 72 y squared is equal to 2440 8 times y plus this 72 times y whole squared is equal to 5184 y squared. Next 289 minus 2448 y plus 5184 times in place of this y squared, we put this value of y squared 1 minus 4y. Value of this y squared is 1 minus 4 times y. Next, 289 minus 2448y. Now, this 5184 times 1 is plus 5184 and 5184 times negative 4y will become negative 20736 times y. Next, this 289 plus this 5184 will become 5473. In this negative 2448y minus this 20736y will become negative 23184 times y. Now, in place of this y, we put this value of y root 5 minus 2. Value of y is equal to root 5 minus 2. So, this expression will become 5473 minus 23184 times value of y is root 5 minus 2. Next, 5473 
minus this uh, 23,184 times this root 5 will become 23,184 times root 5. This uh, negative 23,184 times this negative 2 will become plus 46,368. Next, this 5473 plus this 46368 will become 51,841 minus 23184 times root 5. This is equal to y to the power 8 and y to the power 8 is equal to x cubed whole to the power 8. So, this is our final answer of this problem.